<laughs> on in, Joe. How are you, mate? <laughs> you all right, pal? Come on in. Right, AJ, how are you feeling? You excited? Excited, brilliant. Can't wait. Can't wait. Love the cup. How do you feel about having the camera swirling around today? It doesn't bother me. I'm used to it. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. It's great. I love it. I love it. It's no problem. It's uh, you know I love working with you guys. So it's you know it's it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, might not be a pleasure for you so much when we go and walk the dog in a minute, but uh, yeah, it's great. No problem at all. Uh, just watching a bit of sport. I'm going to say making a few notes for the prep for the game, but you know that's not true. So I'm not going to say it. <laughs> My brother played. Uh, works at Roman Glass down in Bristol and they play in the FA Cup, you know, and that level, they play in the sort of preliminary rounds all the way through with the chance of getting one of the big boys and that's the dream, isn't it, you know, and, and it's great for, for teams like that because the, the revenue it produces is fantastic and that could keep that club going for two or three years. Let me just turn the telly down because... forward to this one today? I am, I am. I, I quite like it. Um, I quite like seeing the... The players, you know, I, I like to go and watch the warm-ups and things like that. And I like to see it when the players arrive and they walk out into, you know, the stadium for the first time and they're like, wow. You know, because it is impressive. You know, it is impressive. I remember the first time I walked out into uh, Sheffield Wednesday Stadium when I made my debut and as a, as a child and all I'd ever seen was Norwich's Stadium. And I'd only ever seen that from sort of the stands. That is why I love the beauty of the cup. So, yeah, so let's go walk them up. Come on, then. Walk time. <laughs> Walkies. Come on, in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> I need a hose pipe, not a poo bag. <laughs> what have you eaten? Are you eating something you shouldn't? Get a colour of it as well. <laughs> I mean, it's not the nicest of jobs at any time, is it? But, wow. Um, it, yeah, it can be a bit of a distraction, but it can also help. You know, I always think a good cup run is, is something that's quite special. Um, you know, and certainly from when we did it, I think we got to round five. Uh, was it round six? I can't remember now. Um, and we did it with Barnsley as well. We, you know, we got to the semi-final um, to Wembley. So, I mean, it, it, for me, they can go hand in hand a little bit. It's, uh, uh, yeah, there's something really special about the FA Cup. The fact that we've got another recognised striker back to help share the workload is, is brilliant. Um, you know, and, and, and yeah, I mean, of course, he's a welcome. Welcome, mate. It's going to be like a new signing in January, isn't it, for us? You know, and then it just happens to be January as well. So, so happy day. So, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's going to be good. It's going to be good, and hopefully, you can keep fit, get stronger, get fitter, and uh, you know, and then uh, score some goals. <laughs> Sponsored by Timberland. <laughs> Coming to you in store soon. <laughs> you have a pair of Timberlands, Joe. You got them. My King, King Carlos hat that the gaffer lent me. <laughs> you can say that to the game. No, no. <laughs> it's not that. And off we go to the baggies. <laughs> get excited now. Yeah, this is when. Uh, so the switch hasn't quite. Because obviously you've got to be sensible and. When you're on air, it's it's work, isn't it? Um, although it's not like a job really at all. But yeah, the switch hasn't quite flicked yet, but it will do in a bit. I'll let you know when the flick starts. I usually put in the sat nav, to be honest, because it can take me the motorway, which the island at the top is a nightmare. So I put it always put it in the sat nav just to check, because um, I can go the back roads through sort of Smethwick and um, Oldbury and that way. Um, so yeah, it just, it just depends, but I don't think there's going to be uh, too much today on a Sunday. You know, I, I, I kind of feel part of the family here, the, the football club and, and part of the supporters as well. You know, I'm on all the supporters, like my phone goes mental match day. 
you know, we've, uh, you've seen today, you know, people texting and stuff like that. Um, it's difficult to answer everybody, but I try. Uh, usually on a on a Saturday, usually I my, my Sunday morning routine usually would be um, 6 a.m. match of the day. I watch it. I record on the Saturday night because. I'm far too busy on a Saturday night to be watching Match of the Day. But I like to watch in a bit of peace and quiet and nobody's usually up at six on a Sunday. So I watch Match of the Day with a cup of coffee and I try and answer as many as I can. You can do nothing but praise the guy for what he's done. He's, he's done a fantastic job, an unbelievable job actually. Um, what he has done is he's brought the club back, the fans that are enjoying the football. They're, in, they're coming with a smile on their face now, you know, which they haven't done for a little while. Um, you know, so he sort of united the fans. They absolutely love him and rightly so. Um, you know, and he's so animated on the touchline, isn't he? I mean, I'm kind of expecting planes to land when he's, they're all jumping and waving their hands around and stuff like that. But, you know, he, he's very passionate, um, you know, and he cares. Um, so, yeah, I think he's incredible, absolutely incredible. I always go this way. This is my, uh, my routine to the ground. I'm superstitious about everything, pretty much. Yeah, there's, I mean, apart from walking over three drains, that don't really bother me. Um, magpies, but I have set routines, always did as a player, and always do in life, to be honest. I mean, it's it's crazy. Very, very superstitious. I mean, you didn't see my kitchen cupboards, but if you looked in them, all the tins face the right way and the same way and all that sort of thing. <laughs> it's crazy. And I'm very anal about, you know, things like that. Shopping, supermarket shopping. Don't touch my trolley. <laughs> Not until the walk up to the gantry, really. And apart from that, everything's just fun. You know, it's great to be here, isn't it? What, what's not to love? Happy New Year, guys. How are we? I'm on my health plan now. Yeah. Been the worst 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> How are you, mate? Not so well as you. Happy New Year. And you, sir. You alright? Oh, not too bad. Good man. Hello, mate, Ali. Happy New Year. Oh. Now we're going to work now. We're coming here. I always, have, I always stick my nose in. Just in case there's any kids in here and stuff like that, I like to say hello. I actually do, do this as part of my match day. And then you can have a... I think it's a great facility that you know, the club offer, it's, I think it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. So I always stick my head in and say hello. Yeah, smashing, smashing. And then we go into the the press room. <laughs> oh, there's some characters, all right. None of them do a lot of work, but... Joe? Oh, no. Uh, AJ, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year. Well, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Happy New Year. Definitely happy New Year. Oh, yeah. So this is Lewis, and as you can see, Lewis hasn't got a laptop in front of him because he doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> he just eats and just abuses the hospitality of the football club. <laughs> <laughs> this man here just does all his work for him. You always have a go, but you can't be the camera. I can. All right. How are you? Happy New Year. Still got a job? <laughs> I have you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> No, this, is, this is your farewell video. No, no, we've got AJTV, we're running it new AJ, from New Year. <laughs> Legend, bomber. How are you, mate? Happy New Year, mate. Happy New Year. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the gang. So. What was your boy, is it? Uh, there's four. Hi, I think we've got this olive flavor cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of extra blob. I'm eating it. I'm eating it for. I'm eating it. It's lovely. Notes. What are you saying, Jesse? No, AJ. <laughs> 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 Don't, because I'm in a giggly mood today. I do like the warm ups, yeah. I don't know, it's just, I think you can tell a lot with a warm up. It's, uh, 
you can see whether they're at it or not. You know, and I always think it's a good indication of how they're going to start the game. And me and Jez used to have this little, little thing again. It was a bit of a superstition about whether we were going to win or not. Uh, they do a shooting session in part of the warm up, and we'd say he's going to score easily. We had to get three on a spin, and then we'd win the game. So, but we stopped doing that because we kept getting it horribly wrong. <laughs> That's the flick, that's the flick of the switch. <laughs> yeah, this is where Jez... <laughs> so, so Jez prints me off notes. So small, I can't see him even with my glasses. Opportunity everywhere you look on this football pitch today as Aldershot Town get this third round tie in the Emirates FA Cup up and running for the shots. It's a chance to show what they can do at a much higher stage. Went to drop in as well. There's a lovely ball in behind from Fenton Hurd, two fellows who pulls it backwards. And there's a chance! What a goal! Stroked home! What a goal! Far corner! by Nathaniel Chalabar. It's his first West Bromwich Albion goal. Well, it doesn't matter who you're playing against. That has got class all the way through that goal. I mean, it goes out to Fellows, a little one-two with Fenton Hurd. The way of Fenton Hurd's pass is just exceptional. You know, it's just, go on, he doesn't even break his stride, Tom Fellows, and he just pulls it back. And what about that for a finish on the half volley? from Chalabar. Oh, what a goal. And like you said, best start we could have possibly had. That settles everybody down. A slip by the defender and Daryl DK has the ball. He's left it for Jovan Malcolm, who will oh, send it into the far corner and has done just that. And Jovan Malcolm repeats the trick of last season when he scored here against Chesterfield in the third round of the FA Cup. He's done the same this time against the Shocks. And I heard his, his eyes must have lit up because I'm sure he thought that Malcolm would have just rolled the ball square for an open goal. But he doesn't, Malcolm. As any striker wouldn't in that position, he puts it very calmly and coolly into the bottom corner. Great finish, 2-0. Here's Alex Mo uh, Mowat. Delivers it towards the edge of the six-yard box. Oh, no, this is partly in. Oh, it is! <laughs> wow! What a moment for Daryl DK. 268 days since coming off injured with an Achilles injury at the Bet365 Stadium. He lashes a loose ball into the roof of the net <laughs> and celebrates like he's never scored a goal before in his life. So pleased for him. Hits that with venom and it goes in. And you can just see what it means to him with the celebrations. He's ecstatic. Albion in complete control. Half time here at the Hawthorns on WBA Radio. West Bromwich Albion three, Aldershot Town and nil. That's been great, hasn't it? I mean, you know, some DK's got a goal after you know being out for most of the year. Um, Chalabar's goal was a great goal, great move. Um, you know, and you got the young lad Hurd, who's sensational debut for me. So, you know, brilliant, great game. And it's not going to be a cup up upset, is it, by the looks of things, anyway? Um, it'd be a double upset now if we lost from 3-0 and 3-0 up, wouldn't it? But I don't see it happening at all. Very professional performance. Job done. Brilliant. Well done. Get some food now. I don't know. I don't eat that much, to be honest. <laughs> Want to move this tonight, mate? Joe's staying for the action later as well. There he is. Oh, in behind. It's a great ball for Tom Fellows. He's looking for his first senior goal. Fellows steps inside. It's oh, in. what a finish! Get in there! Tom Fellows has his first senior goal. He does brilliantly, but he can finally say now, Andy, that he's got his first Albion goal. Oh, and what a goal it is as well. It's a lovely ball into him. And he, I'm thinking, shoot, shoot, when he comes inside. And then look at that for a finish under the goalkeeper's body. Comes off the far stick. Oh, he sends him for... Sends him for... 
egg on toast, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, look at this. The fullback, he's going up to you. Great little finish. Great finish. Consolation for Aldershot Town substitute Oliver Bray sweeping in at the near post. But all in all, a very comfortable afternoon for West Bromwich Albion. Five debuts as well for academy graduates. Lots to be positive about Albion have beaten Aldershot Town by four goals to one. Chocolate, you mean? Go for a hot chocolate. <laughs> See you later, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Post-match analysis. We've got a great performance, a great win, uh, and we're into the next round. Let's go as far as we can. Let's, you know, let's really, really go for it this year and see. I always think a good cup run. I think it helps with your, your your form in the league as well, you know, unless you're having a bad time in the league and then you don't want the cup run because of obvious reasons, you know, you've got to concentrate. But yeah, excellent, excellent day. Well, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed a day with me. Um, what do they do on MTV? Really? Now get out. <laughs> <laughs> on, See you later. See you later, pal. Chubb it. Bye.